Hey, Build a Blog workshoppers, welcome back. Today is day four, and as I said in the post today, I'm so proud of you. You guys are doing a great job, making a lot of progress, and hopefully you're having some fun doing it, and are starting to feel like this isn't um, an unconquerable task. This is pretty straightforward, and while there's always a few bumps along the way, um, you know, there's lessons to learn from that too. So just keep plowing forward. Um, asking for help, Googling for help, and know that we're here to make this as successful for you as possible. Today, we're going to start beefing up your uh, pages a little bit. We've made some pages, but right now, uh, unless you jumped ahead, those pages are blank, and so we want to start filling them in. And I've done a little bit of the work for you. So as you can see here, uh, we're here in our Facebook group. I wanted to show you in today's post that I've typed out um, the basics of what you'll need for your recipe page. We're going to start with that page since it's the one that we've already posted. We've done a blog post of a recipe from yesterday. So you'll be able to take that uh, blog post and put it as content here for your recipe page. So what you're going to do is copy just like this and I do command C for copy because I'm on a Mac so whatever you guys need to do to copy this text not a screenshot just copy the text and then you're gonna go over to blogger.com okay here we are at blogger.com so you when you come to blogger you'll always see your blogs here in a list we're going to use the, the blog that you're currently building here and click that and here's your overview page Right now we're going to go to pages and click our recipe page that you have started working on. Okay, you're going to go ahead and give that a minute to load and when it comes up, all you need to do now is paste in the information from Facebook that I gave you. Now your formatting may or may not look just exactly the same as mine right now. Um, but you'll probably want to play with it a little bit. I can see that this font is too big, so I'm just going to go over here to the text size and put this to normal so it doesn't look so crazy. I want this heading to be centered, so I'm going to highlight it and then go over here to the text um, alignment key and click center. And then I really want it to pop, so while it's still highlit, I'm going to go over and change the color of my font to something that kind of goes with uh, my, my blog. So I'm going to pick this orange one right here. And the rest I'm going to leave alone. I kind of want these a larger size. So if yours aren't already a little bit bigger, since these are headers, you might want to go to the text and change that to large so that it fits. Okay. So now these are um, headings and below those you'll be able to add in links to the recipes that you will be adding over time. The first one that I'm going to add is a salad. That's what I happen to blog about. Um, yours may be different if you chose a dessert or a Shakeology recipe, whatever. Um, but what you're going to do is type in the name of your recipe so if I go over here to uh, my live blog and click home, I can see that, oh, here's what I did, and it was called sweet potato salad. So I'm going to copy that and just put that in. You can copy paste, but see how the font is different? I actually think I'm going to change my mind here and just go ahead and type in sweet potato salad and I want some room under that and then change the font size to normal okay so that leaves my heading as large and my actual recipe itself is going to be um, a smaller size now in order to make the link to this recipe is where we need to leave this page go back and grab that hyperlink and put it in. We were going to go ahead and update this page, which will save everything that we've done so far. And now I need to go over here to posts. 
This will list all of the posts that I've done. I'm going to select the sweet potato salad post that I did. Go over here and click permalink. When you click permalink, I want you to highlight the information that you see there and copy that. You can click done. And then we're going to go back. You can click update. You didn't really change anything, but sometimes it makes it easier to go back if you just tell it to update, even though we didn't change anything. So we're going to go ahead and go back now to our page, back to our recipes, and we're going to highlight the title that we had put in now and go up to where it says link. That's what we want to do. I want this to go, now you're just going to paste in the link that you had copied and click, I always like to click open this link in a new window, that way um, that original page will still be open and then click OK. Alright, and now you've got a link there. I'm going to update that and then I want to view my blog. I'm going to click here on my recipes and see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see that preview that we had seen before is gone. There is just uh, my, my salads as a, as a heading. Here's my sweet potato salad link and if I click that in a new window it will open up and bring me directly to the recipe that I have provided and then I can close out of that, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So all you need to do now is uh, load in some more recipes. Hopefully you can fill in um, using the, the process that we did yesterday. You're gonna write a blog post, copy and paste in the recipe itself, and then use today's lesson to fill one, at least one recipe for each of these categories a side, a dessert, a main, and a Shakeology, so that if somebody comes to this page, there's at least one thing for each category. And that is that. That's all we're going to do for today. Tomorrow we can start working on some of these other tabs, um, but for the meantime, let's just beef out this recipe page and call it a day. Thanks everybody. Hope that made sense. Remember to ask questions, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.